Yo, so Michigan just beat Rutgers 22-13. Now, like, share, subscribe. Now, let's just get into it. Now, Michigan, this was a game of two halves. First half, Michigan dominated, was up 20-3. Second half, Michigan does nothing, and Rutgers dominates us but can't get it in the end zone, basically, ball game. Now, this game, it's all about dumb play calling. You want to run it up. Harbaugh runs up the middle, or Gaddis, I don't know who it is, runs it up the middle, run up the middle, run up the middle. It didn't work after the first drive. And then we proceed to run it up the middle for the rest of the game. All second half didn't work. They just wouldn't stop going to it. Run it up the middle, run it up the middle. Harbaugh was happy to just three and out, three and out, run up the middle, run up the middle, run up the middle, punt it away. Now, you can get away with that on an FCS team or a garbage team, but guess what? It's Big Ten football time. That ain't going to work, bro. And he proceeds to just do it. Now, your defense is getting gassed because you're not taking any time off. You're not giving them any rest. I just don't understand why you refuse to try other plays. It's like you call the same play over and over and over and over and over. Like, this don't make no sense. Now, I, people that talked about the passing game, I ain't got nothing to say to you because they didn't. They just don't want to try nothing else. Now, I don't have a problem with them staying with the running game if you mix it up. But... We're running in the eight-man front, running it right up the middle, right up the middle. Bro, they stopping the run up the middle. Now, you don't even want to try anything different. You don't want to try stretch plays. You don't want to toss, run tosses. You don't want to try wide receiver screens. You don't try running back screens. You, you just abandon the jet sweeps that we used to run all game to, to A.J. Henning in the reverses, you just decided, I ain't going to run none of that stuff. Uh, it's Big Ten. You should have been saving that stuff for Big Ten play. But you want, you want to run it up on garbage teams. Now you're in the real game, and you forget every all them other plays. All you know is run up the middle, run up the middle, run up the middle. Like, I, I, don't, I just don't understand the thinking of this stuff. You, you waited till, let's see. We get the ball back. We trying to get in field goal range. We, we run a stretch play for the first time to Blake Corum. He gets nine yards. You proceed to run it up the middle, run it up the middle, run it up the middle, trying to kick a field goal. Like, after he got that first down, he was happy to kick the field goal. You know why you shouldn't be happy to try the field goal? Because this is college. This ain't the pros. So when he's sitting up there running it up the middle, we're not gaining any yards. I'm sitting there like he's trying to kick a field goal. Guess what? It's a 40-yard field goal. In college, that ain't no chip shot. You sitting here already planning on kicking that field goal, and I'm already planning on us missing it because it's college. Now, if I'm sitting at home on my couch, I can, and I know this is college, a 40-yard field goal ain't a chip shot. You getting paid millions, you need to know that. You need to be running plays to get yardage. Not running up the middle like you about to ice the game. No, they about to put you on ice. We escaped out of that because Rutgers, ain't, ain't, they ain't had the playmakers to finish the game. But they definitely should have beat us. Because you want to run it up the riddle, middle, run it up the middle. Just run it up the middle. It's like this dude is in a glitch. Like some, he's in a glitch in a loop and just keeps calling the same play. Run up the middle, run up the middle. Somebody need to smack him across his head. Don't run that play again. Don't run it again. I, 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 I'm about to, no, you don't run it again. Call a stretch play. Call a toss. Call a reverse. Call a jet sweep. Call a wide receiver screen. We saw none of these. That's, that's my thing. We didn't see none of these type of plays, bro. Like, come on. Like, it's unbelievable. 
It's just unbelievable that, that we have to sit and watch Gaddis. I don't know who called in the plays. Your name on the paper for offensive coordinator. See ya. You can go. You can go. Because when we, when we get new coaches that know what they're doing, you see the difference. So, see ya. It, it, this, I hope this is your last year. You need to go, too. It is time for you to go. Harbaugh, you cutting it close with that scared ball. You playing scared, bro. You play scared, you're going to get beat. Now, we escaped out of here, but you do that. I'm scared. I don't want to try anything. I'm just going to run it up the middle and, and trust my defense. Yeah, You could do that if your defense wasn't getting gassed. You do that against Penn State, Michigan State. Wisconsin, Ohio State, we're going to lose all four of them. You playing too scared, bro. You're just calling runs up the middle. You're happy to punt. Early in the third quarter, the game ain't over, bro. you happy to punt. Third and ten, you calling a run, bro? It worked once. You get away with that about once a game, maybe twice. You ain't going to keep doing that. Oh, I'm third and ten, I'm going to call a run. Oh, we didn't get any yards. I don't care. Just punt it away. They proceed to go 95 yards and score. You get you getting super conservative like we up 50. We up 17, bro. Call some plays. Earn your money. Earn the money. Call and runs up the middle. You want to call runs up the middle? You might as well pay me two, three million, and I call runs up the middle every time. You want to throw away some money? Throw it over here. I call it. I'll call run up the middle every time then. You're going to give me two, three, four million? Give me 500,000. I'll call runs up the middle. The hell you dudes getting paid for it? That's all you're going to call. It don't make no sense. Run up the middle. Run up the middle. Run up the middle. Like you thought, a doggone, it's like they, they got somebody up there pushing a button calling the play. He did, he just pushed the same button. Hey, like, come on. Shout out to the defense. Shout out to Mike McDonald and the defense. Uh, Ajabo making a play. Making a play. Shout out to all them dudes. Uh, shout out to all of them. Aiden, Aiden, uh, Dax Hill, I can't even think. I'm so mad about this game. I can't even think of. Josh Ross got hurt, and after that, it seemed like the run game opened up for them. Chris Hinton and them boys, shout out to all them dudes, even in the dudes that came in. Uh, Green Hill, shout out to all of them. Shout out to all of them. Brad Hawkins, shout out to all the defense. Because Harbaugh wanted, it's like he wanted them to get to lose this game. And defense said, nah, we ain't finna lose. We ain't finna let y'all make us lose. We ain't finna let you make us lose. Shout out to Mike McDonald. Because this, this, this was Harbaugh and Gaddis trying to lose a game. You want to see an offense and a head coach try to lose a game? You rewatch that. You just watch that second half. Because it don't make no sense. That's, that, that was sad. What you get in the second half? 40 yards of offense? It, and it's not because you you they, they were that good. It's because you were calling the same plays over and over. Run up the middle. Run up the middle. Run up the middle. It's not hard to stop when you know what's coming. We got eight in the box. We prepared for it. Our, our D line is getting a good push. We ain't stopping the run. They keep running it up the middle. Let's stop it. Hey, bro, you ain't killing no clock. You ain't doing nothing but putting your defense in bad positions. That's just sad, bro. Just sad. Now, Cade looked shook by the time he had uh, to try to make a throw or something. Now, you want to try to make a throw. You see he shook. You see... He hasn't had to make any throws in a while or hasn't hit on one. How about you give him an easy throw? Maybe a screen, wide receiver, running back screen, some simple, a quick slant, something like that. Oh, no. Nah. You try a corner, a, 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 a out route. One of the hardest passes for a quarterback to make 
Because if he throws it wrong, it's going to get picked sixth. And he's coached not to make mistakes. So that's the, that's the, that, that's the play you call? When you see he's, he, he's out of rhythm, then he, he throws it in the dirt. That's not the type of play you want to call when he, you, he's coached to not make mistakes. He's second-guessing himself before he even throw the ball. He don't want to make a mistake. That's not an easy throw, an out route. You throw that wrong, and you throw it behind the receiver, it's pick six. It's not smart. Like, come on. Like, it was just, <laughs> we, we escaped that one. But if, if, if the play calling doesn't get better with this just running up the middle, and I'm going to say this again, I don't have a problem with us running. But call different running plays if they're not working. The run up the middle isn't working. Okay, cool. Let's try a stretch play. Let's call, let's try a quick toss. You're not putting your 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 offensive players in position to be successful. Haskins is a between the the, the tackles running back. He had good yardage on the first drive. You proceed to not give him any more carries after the first drive until like the third quarter or something. Blake can run in between the tackles, but he's a small dude. Haskins was getting two, three yards after contact. Blake was getting hit and going down pretty much. You know why? Because Blake's advantage on the defense is on the edge. He's fast, so he can get to the edge faster than the defenders. Haskins is a bell cow. He can run in between the tackles and break tackles. It's not hard to figure out. You've been running A.J. Henning on sweeps and reverses, and he's been getting 50, 60 yards almost every time. You proceed to not do it at all this game when you need those yards because the running game isn't going well. What are you thinking about? It's just dumb football, like you sitting here like a zombie. Like, this one, this one got me puzzled and confused on who is doing what. Now, the passing game, I know people going to be on the passing game. I ain't got nothing to say about it. Yeah, we do need the passing game to be better. I don't know what's going on. They just call it runners up the middle, y'all. Like, run up the middle, run up the middle, run up the middle. Call, imp call improvise a little... Stretch, toss, reverse, jet sweep, something. They ain't calling none of this stuff. That scared ball is going to get us beat. It's going to get us beat because you playing too scared. You happy to kick the ball away too much. Oh, I'll just run it up the middle three times and punt. I'll just run it up three, the middle three times and try a 40-yard field goal. That's not an easy field goal. That's not an easy field goal, bro. That's where sometimes Harbaugh thinks he's in the NFL. This ain't the NFL. I knew that kicker was going to miss that field goal. Because it's not a chip shot in college. I just can't understand some of these plays. Like, <laughs> I'm just boggled, y'all. I might have to come back here and make another one. Because this is just unbelievable. We escaped, but I don't think any, any of us feel good about what we just watched that second half. First half, we were feeling good. I was like, hey, we about to put up 40. They might score 10 or something. But, no, nah, we should have lost that game. I might make another video tomorrow or go live. I'm not sure yet. But we escaped. I got to decompress. Like, share, subscribe. <laughs> and as always, go blue.